Hi everybody, welcome on my channel. I'm living in the European Alps and I'm using the GoPro for about 5 months now, especially for skiing and other mountain sports. I tried to find out what could be the best protein settings for most situations, so let's have a look. For the color you have just two choices, flat and GoPro. I would recommend setting the color on flat, this gives you much more freedom in post-production. You will have more details in darker or bright areas, since the GoPro seems to get more information. But it will be necessary to do some color grading in post. Color grading is very easy and can even be done with a basic software such as iMovie or GoPro Studio. Next option is the white balance. A low value gives you a cold color profile with a blue touch. A higher value gives you warmer colors with a yellow touch. I set this always on native since it's very easy to set the right white balance in post. With the native setting it will be easier to adjust the white balance in post. Like the color grading this can be done with GoPro Studio or iMovie. Here you can set the ISO value. The numbers go from 400 up to 6400 and refer to a maximum value. That means that if you shoot on a bright day and set this to 800 the GoPro will use a lower value anyway. You should set this to the lowest value possible. In my opinion the GoPro was not made for shooting in low light conditions and doesn't really handle well higher ISO values. Higher ISO values produce a brighter image but also a lot more noise. So if image quality is important to you, set this on 400 and avoid filming in low light situations. Next option is the shutter speed. A general rule in filmmaking says that the shutter speed should be set on twice the value of the frame rate for the most natural look. So if you are filming in 60 fps you should set your shutter speed at 120. In certain situations and for certain effects filmmakers set the shutter speed at a higher or lower value. The GoPro then uses the shutter speed for letting in more or less light, since there is no other possibility except of the ISO to control the exposure. That means your GoPro doesn't always follow the rule I just mentioned. I have the experience that this on a sunny day with a lot of light for example, can lead to a nervous and shaky look if the camera is set to a low frame rate. Anyway, I would not recommend working on the shutter speed yourself and I personally set it always on auto. In this menu you can correct the exposure. So if you look at your display and are of the opinion that the image is too dark, increase it. If it looks too bright, decrease it. Try to play around with this option even if I would not recommend to increase or decrease it for more than one. The exposure value can be very helpful to improve the image quality in a simple way. The Hero 4 Black usually seem to be a little bit overexposed. In my opinion this is not the case for the Hero 5 Black. In most cases I achieved the best results by increasing it for 0.5. The sharpness can be set to high, medium or low. I personally like the high sharpness of the GoPro. But most filmmakers prefer a lower value and set this to medium or low. Of course you can change the sharpness in post. If you are using iMovie that's not possible though. As I said before I usually set this on high. If you set audio to low, medium or high, the GoPro creates a separate audio file for post-production. Unless you have the intention to work on the audio recordings in post, this option won't be useful to you. I hope this video was helpful for you. Enjoy your life and have a nice day.